What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Married to Kaiju where I am the rudest, crudest way. You will see Godzilla, Power Rangers, and other Toku properties reviewed, unboxed, and ultimately collected. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review. And I'm really excited. This is actually something I pre-ordered, I think it was at least six months ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, it's an awesome, awesome figure. Um, not really first time released, but as close to it being first time released uh, as possible. There's only um, one other figure by Bandai of this guy and other than that um, he's and it's in like a box set with a few other figures and other than that there's nothing else of him so when this was announced and it was announced by a line that I'm a big fan of it's really the line has has impressed me. It's winners and the, the winners of the line have been very very good. And even the ones that are just okay are still pretty damn good. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, when I saw that this guy was released, I absolutely had to get it. No questions asked. moment of truth it is the Dagarla or Dagara as it says here on the box from Rebirth of Mothra 2 this is the premium Bandai Dagarla here's the back of the box an under she under sea shot of him oh I'm so excited to open this up so yeah, like I said, there's only one other Dagarla figure out there, at least that I'm aware of. Uh, there's nothing big. Uh, there's no X Plus or Movie Monster series or anything like that. Um, it's just in the Rebirth of Mothra 2 uh, figure box set where there's like a little, I don't know, maybe three inch, four inch Dagarla. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, he's big. Let's see. Set this up for the background. So here he is. Here's how, here's how he comes in the box. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. This is freaking huge. Oh man, there is a lot of a lot of those zip ties, so I'm just gonna cut them. Um Apparently I need to sharpen my knife. You guys might want to fast forward a few seconds. Like I said, when I'm rude and crude, I'm rude and crude because I don't edit this stuff. But that way you guys can get my honest reactions. Two more, two more people. All right. So, like I was saying, the Dagarla monster from Rebirth of Mothra 2, uh, there are no figures of him except for the three or four inch figure from that box set that came out with the movie and while that's really cool it's very small 
um, and doesn't really catch many people's eyes. So this is much bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is awesome. This honestly almost looks like a 25 centimeter X plus. Like it's really good. Holy cow. <clears throat> I'm not going to undo all this. I'm just going to tear this bag right up here and bring them out that way so it'll be much faster. Actually going to see if I can find something to put him on to help you guys. Like I said, guys, rude and crude. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, this thing is awesome. It I I'm I'm literally not exaggerating when I say it it looks almost like X plus quality. Um it's it's so good. I love this. Oh my gosh, do I love this. So cool. So there's several different attachments for this guy, which is also really awesome. And some of them are, well, they're the wings. All of them are the wings. And these ones show or have him with his wings folded. Okay, put those on. There we go. That's how it looks. Wings folded. Man, this Takarla is so freaking impressive. So impressive. I was able to get this for around $170, $180 with shipping. Um, so that was, that's really cool. Significantly cheaper than the aftermarket or what some of the dealers are selling for it. So you have to keep in mind the dealers. Um, you know, we have to buy the figure and ship it. So automatically it's 170 bucks before we even have the markup. So that's why you're seeing some of these for, you know, $220 or more. But man, it's honestly, if you can find this or you, or if you were on the fence about this, get it. It's super nice, super impressive. So the wings just rock them back and forth. There is some articulation. You can just pop them right off. Get a better handle on it. So you can just pop the wings right off. Just like that. See the little peg holes? And if you wanted to, you could put in the outstretched wings, which give him the, <clears throat> the cannons on his shoulders that he shoots his beams from, uh, the... I forget what the uh, little starfish they bury them, I think they're called, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, I like that even more. Oh, I'm definitely keeping these things on. Very, very nice. Let me give you guys a little 360 view of this bad boy. Very, very impressed with it. Honestly, I really am. Um, like I said, this is from Bandai. Obviously, you can see Bandai Namco, Bandai down there at the bottom. This is Dagara, or Dagarla as he's known here in the States. And uh, this is from Premium Bandai. So Premium Bandai differs from the regular Movie Monster series and other uh, lines by Bandai because they are upscale form. Uh, they're bigger, they're uh, more detailed, Honestly, in my opinion, Premium Bandai is, I hate to say their version of an X Plus because Bandai now owns 
part of that plus. Um, so it, it's hard to say that, but it's it's an X. It's a cheaper, well, sometimes cheaper uh, X plus, which is pretty cool. And also, there is a minifigure, a little work exclusive, but not exclusive, uh, of Gogo or Gorgo. Very cool. Hopefully it doesn't pee on me. Um, honestly, I keep saying this, but I am very impressed with this figure. Uh, he was absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, worth the wait. Um, on the Monsters with Attitude Facebook and YouTube channels, we are going to be doing uh, figure of the year, like most other channels are. And one of the categories is Bandai. And honestly, this is figure of the year. However, it will not win because not enough people probably ordered this. But the ones that did will know what I'm talking about. Uh, my buddy Eric also got this. I'm sure he will maybe do a review. Um, this is very, very impressive. For 170-ish dollars, 180-ish dollars, uh, and that includes shipping uh, through a proxy site. It it's a it's a five star for me, uh, five out of five. Um, very impressive. The details great. The paint is is awesome. Um, it honestly, I, I said this before. It feels and almost looks like a uh, X plus. I think Degarla is a. Uh, underrated monster. <laughs> I think that they could do a lot more. <clears throat> Excuse me. With Dagarla as a kaiju, I wish that they would bring him back. Um, the monsters of the Rebirth of Mothra series are all very cool. Deptagora, Dagarla, and of course the goat, Grand King Ghidra. Um, I would love to see them continue this line, continue the Birth of Mothra line. Let's see a Death Ghidorah like this. Let's see a Grand King Ghidorah like this. Let's see an Eternal Mothra or an Armor Mothra. That would just be amazing. I really don't think that this review is doing this figure justice. Um, very impressed. Well worth the wait. It is a great figure. I I hope Bandai continues the premium Bandai line. Uh, I'm willing to pay more for figures that are more detailed, that are bigger, um, and just just stand out like this. It's, it's very impressive. Very impressive. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for watching the review. Um, as always, please continue to comment, to, to like my videos. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. It truly means a lot to me. Um, check us out this coming Saturday at the Monsters with Attitude uh, YouTube channel and Facebook group where we will be having our monthly discussion talking about all things minus one. You will that um man but in the meantime garla is awesome and i knocked it out of the park good job guys uh thank you guys subscribe like comment subscribe to the monsters with attitude subscribe to my uh youtube channel and until next time take care of yourselves and each other god bless